What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Completely Pointless Podcast. Uh, today you got me, Jeremy. I am joined by the two regulars. Nick. And I'm Brandon. And a very special guest. I'm Isaac. As always, we greatly appreciate you being here, Isaac. And I personally always enjoy your input because you almost always side with me, so I'm, I love it. Yeah, it's easy. <laughs> Buy you beer and agree and nod my head. Honestly, I will take alcohol any day of the week. So I'm very easy to bribe if you can just figure that out. That's just fucking cheating. <laughs> it's not cheating. It's learning, Brandon. You just got to learn my cheating. personality. Cheating. And then... <laughs> I mean, I guess. But anyways, uh, for, for, to, to start off the episode, I just kind of want, wanted to ask you guys, how, how's y'all been doing? How's y'all weeks been going? Y'all been having a good time? Been doing rough? What's happening? No, this this last week fucking sucked for me, but it's yeah, over same. now. So I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, it was... I mean, for me, I just been just a working. Fucking, we had so I always have this problem, like at work. It's on Sundays, but every fucking Sunday I've worked has just been a shit show. Oh yeah usually how sundays go like we get shit on every single sunday dude but everybody else like oh yeah my sundays are great (laughs) well that's because like the past like week or two and i thought it was just me just having like a bad like a bad no dude weeks these past man you were Last couple weeks have sucked, right? Yeah, they've been bad, man. I don't know what it is. I mean, I know what it is for me personally, but I <laughs> like I've been talking to some of my coworkers, and they're all like, "Yeah, man, it's just been a bad week or two. And I'm like, "Yeah, what's happening? Why is everyone having such a bad time?" <laughs> like depression in the air. Yes, man. <laughs> I mean, I know personally for me, it's money that's causing all of it. So yeah. like. Uh, money's been running tight because you know gas is through the roof our rent just went up utilities are through the roof everything's expensive so i'm real tight on cash so then i get stressed so then at work i make mistakes and then i get fucking uh you know just absolutely shit on by all the people at work for making mistakes and i'm like i'm sorry and so then that just puts me in a cascading loop of being in a bad mood <laughs> it's, it's, domino effect. it's just been workload a shitload of fucking work has come through the past couple of weeks and it's been a lot a lot more like it's kind of unusual for this time of year yeah and for the shift i'm on now yeah this time of year the sun's out everybody's smiling type deal yeah not, not fucking not this year this year right. fucking everybody's everybody's kind of pissy the seasonal depression is supposed to end when it gets warm. Do no lie, I think I think this this year it's been like uh, flipped around. Yeah, I hope this that, that means this year winter's gonna be fucking like awesome and snowy. And... <laughs> I hope so. See, same, so I don't know about same. you guys, but I actually I prefer cold. Yeah. Yes. But like my ideal weather is overcast, rainy snowy yeah. would be perfect like that's the kind of weather i fucking love that's white man weather dude that's the <laughs> best weather man yeah dude the fucking heat sucks dude yeah that's i'm totally like, down like over 100 degrees I, I could give a shit less about rain i really don't lo- don't like the rain just because i don't like getting wet but like oh, if it snows I, it needs to snow enough to where i don't have to go into work otherwise i fucking <laughs> hate the snow <laughs> oh man did i ever tell you about that time um we had like that real bad snowstorm here. It was like a couple years ago. And I was the opening supervisor at the IT desk that I was working at. So it was like, I had work at 7 a.m. It had just started snowing like the night before. So it was bad. No one had been on the road. None of our actual like full time employees got in until like eight or nine. And no one had told me that we weren't working that day. And as the opening supervisor, <laughs> it was my job. To be there, open, unlock all the doors, set up all the, you know, the computer systems, make sure everyone was logged in and ready to answer calls. So I left at like 6 a.m., 
trucked through all this fresh snow, got to work like 640, and then at like 710, right? So I'd already opened, everything was good. 710, our manager calls me. It was like, hey, so I think we're going to close today. The roads are pretty bad. I just left my my garage and couldn't make it out of the driveway. So (laughs) we're just going to not open today. I was like, you motherfucker. (laughs) Like, bro, I'm already fucking here. I was like, I'm here with my headset on, ready to... I was about to start calling other employees, per, you know, per procedure, to be like, uh, you should come into work, even though I knew none of them were going to. So you get for being punctual. <laughs> yep. Yes. Get <laughs> fucked, nerd. Fine. And that's Doing when I decided shoes. to never put effort into my job so (laughs) that was the turning point (laughs) you're the only one who came in on a snow day and and said fuck this shit yeah and And then they were like yeah go home (laughs) like hive mentality a a like every bit everybody making a little bit of an effort is a whole effort right exactly we all put in just a a smidge then it's fine yeah. Amen. If they're not paying me 110%, I'm not giving my 110%. Oh man, they didn't pay us jack shit. I still they were paying them like shit. 20%. Yeah. I I mean, cuz at that point I had worked there for 3 years, 2 3 years, and I was a oh supervisor, God. meaning I was in charge of all the other we were all student employees cuz I was in college at the time. So that, you know, that's a little bit of a you know, we all sucked ass, but uh, I was a supervisor <laughs> in charge of everyone that was working the call center at the moment, basically. And I was making $10 an hour. Oh, damn. Yep. No, yeah, that ain't shit. Compared to, like, you know, what a supervisor anywhere else would make. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's even like, because we had all of our student workers who were basically in charge of answering all the phones, you know, replying to emails, doing all the actual troubleshooting. And then we had our couple of managers that were over us who were full time, you know, non student er, employees. And they were banking, man. They were making the big money. And so it was it was like them pulling up in their like high class cars and then all the college kids walking in from across the interstate because we couldn't <laughs> afford gas. <And> so... <laughs> Y'all are all just hanging out. These these full time employees are like, can't believe we have to work with all these students. Dude, yeah. And then a couple they're of just them falling out. Absolutely hated our guts, and then a couple of them were like really nice to us, so <laughs> it was fine. So I had a good time for the most part. Except for you. Yeah, yeah, I mean real low pay. I mean a job job, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean basically at that point it was cuz I was still in cl- in college, so it was what would pay me and work around my class schedule. And since they were yeah. a college company, I was working for the college. They were like, "Yeah, man. We'll we'll give you any schedule you want as long as you Show us your transcript. I was like, all right. It's easy enough at that point. That's always one thing I always like <clears throat> thought kind of sucked. Is like all of the jobs that will work with your college schedule and like all that heavy stuff are not like careers. Yeah. Right. I mean, they can, they, you know, can potentially lead into one, but. Eh, just 9% of the time they're not. Man, just the like the amount of disrespect that they give to uh people currently working on their college degree. Not having it, but you're in the process of working on it, and they just don't give a shit about you. <laughs> They're like, no, yeah, you're fact. useless. You don't know anything yet. Like, you're dumb. We're not going to pay you. Just, you know, go work. Call us when shift. you get good. Yeah. Man, so what would y'all say was the worst job you've ever worked? Hmm. Starbucks? That's a pretty good answer, yeah. Star- Dairy Queen sucked really bad, but da- Dairy Queen was Starbucks bad. was worse. Dairy Queen was bad. I, I will say, I, in my opinion, you know, Starbucks was worse. Dairy Queen was awful, but first. man, just just the first? You worked at first? Oh, dude, first was terrible. 
I fucking loved going to furs with my the grandpa. Food was del- the food was delicious. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. But, uh, like, yeah, being in the kitchen fucking sucked. Unless you were a baker, then that's all you were doing. Hell Just yeah. Baking shit all day. <laughs> Did the bakers, but, uh, like, so that was their entire job is they just came in, started baking bread. Yeah, like pies and bread and rolls and shit. Dude, furs is lit. It used to be the spot. Yeah, it was good. I don't know if I've ever been to furs. You should. You should go. It's really good. Well, I don't think they're open anymore. Nah. Nothing. Sorry about that. Yeah, being in the fall, right? Being in the dish pit really, really sucked. Ooh. Yeah, that's actually, dude. I'm not gonna lie. My favorite part about working at Dairy, like Starbucks and Dairy Queen was doing dishes. Really? Yeah, Is dude. You put me back there. I'll put my headphones in and just yeah. fucking tear it up. <laughs> oh my yeah. god, it's so nice. As, People as leave you the fuck not, alone. As long as you're not paying me dishwasher pay. <laughs> right. yeah, that is kind of a shitty thing, right? Fucking dishwasher pay is ass. Yeah. Like okay. actual. Well, if they just pay everywhere, but. <laughs> What about you, Brandon? Oh, he might be muted. Brandon died. Yep. Rip. Rip Watch the ginger, he's homie. He's been talking to us this whole time, and he's like, why are they ignoring me? <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> also, uh, Carpenter's Apprentice was pretty fucking bad. Oh, I so I feel like that'd be kind of fun, but... Nah, man. They were just me shitting me soon... all the time. It... Well, it was just me and Brandon, and then this Carpenter. I don't remember his name. Brandon probably does, but I don't. And, um, like, it was all cool and fine, except for the first job, and the only job I ever did for him was, Mm -hmm. like, putting this lacquer, this finisher, on the outside of an entire fucking house, and, like, their deck and, like, porch and shit. It was awful. And I was only getting paid, like, ten bucks an hour. So I was... It's just for the the amount of work, it sucked. Yeah, see, that's, like... I have two jobs that I think I would tie for worst jobs I've worked. Uh, oh, shoot. I forgot about one. We'll get to that one later. Uh, so the two <laughs> that I remember that I didn't repress, um, I worked my first job ever. I worked on a ranch for oh, what? Uh, $6 an hour Ooh. when I was 14. Um, my entire job was they gave me a little tractor. It wasn't a tractor. We called it a spider. It was it was a tractor, but it was raised up off the ground so you could drive through the rows of fields and not, you know, plow over all the crops. Yeah. And uh, my entire job was to drive up and down the rows and pick weeds out of the field, like weeds, cool. large rocks, cactuses, like things like that. And I did that 12 hours a day, $6 an hour, uh, six days a week for three summers <laughs> oh my god that does sound fucking <laughs> it, terrible dude it was very boring but i mean it was literally like so i was 14 at the time um the first day because the guy that hired me was a, a friend of the family and he was like he picked me up because we live like three houses down from each other he picked me up we went out there at 6 a.m mm-hmm. uh he was like you know how to drive right and i was like no i'm 14 <laughs> He's like, all right, uh, go hop in the driver's seat of that truck over there. I was like, okay. <laughs> and so he like showed me how to drive this thing real quick. It was like, all right, go down this road, take a left. There's a red barn. There's a trailer with a spider on it. Hook up to that and then pull it to the field across the road. And then just start, you know, fucking going. I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> so, huh. like basically from that point forward i was just by myself and i just had my headphones in one of the, the night spider had a, a radio in it and a canopy so you weren't nice. just sitting in the sun and hell yeah so i was just listening to music pulling weeds for 12 hours a day God it damn. sucked ass but i got money out of it so yeah <laughs> then my <laughs> Second worst job would probably be working at Lowe's. That place sucks ass. <laughs> Is it worse than Home Depot? I never worked at Home Depot, but I would assume I would so. assume it's the same thing. I mean, Brandon? it's the same store. 
Because Brandon uh... worked at Home Depot and I worked at Lowe's, so we were yeah. mortal enemies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking Home Depots. <laughs> yeah, <God. laughs> Uh, I mean, Home Depot wasn't terrible. I mean, it was every other fucking yeah retail work, retail, retail job. Yeah. yeah, just dealing with dickheads all day. Yeah. What was your What was your worst job, Brandon? My worst job. No, your least. Like you're the one you didn't like the most, I guess. So I'll be real honest. I've been pretty okay with jobs. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. That carpenter's apprentice shit sucked. So did the groundskeeping shit. See, I enjoyed being a carpenter's assistant because I, did not. <clears throat> I was cheeks. <laughs> Said that was cheeks. I mean, yeah, I, I've had pretty good luck with jobs. I mean, probably least favorite. Just because of the nature of it would be fucking Dairy Queen. Yeah, Dairy Queen sucked. It was pretty good for me. It was terrible for you. <laughs> Every job I've had has been good for you and terrible for me. <laughs> Dairy, Queen. <laughs> Dairy Queen was good because you had these things called employee meal tickets. Uh, you just kind of <laughs> ate for free. Dairy you, Queen is good because you, I just yeah. told Nick to make me shit and he made me shit. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm just straight, bacon, straight up thieving that shit. Oh, yeah. Naughty, that, that Jalitos Ranch Hunger Buster with an extra patty, extra Jalitos, extra fucking jalapeno ranch, dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. good. No, we loaded up our burgers. <laughs> yeah, dude, them things were fire back in the day. Oh, yeah. God, the fucking amount of unhealthy shit I ate at, while working at Dairy Queen. Bro, fucking Dairy Queen. We would stop at the Stripes right across the street. Each buy two monsters, yeah. <laughs> chug one of them before we walk through the doorway, and sip on the second one throughout the night. Yeah. Oh, good, good time. Good time. Yeah, dude. See, that's, <laughs> that's like one of the reasons that I hated Lowe's is because I work night shifts. Oh, so well, night this shifts. Sucks. Also... While I was still taking classes, and I also was working at the IT desk at the same time. So I had two jobs and classes. So I would work from like 7 a.m. to 11, and then classes from like 11 to 5, and then lows from like 6 to whenever we closed. But we were super understaffed, so it would be like 1 or 2 most nights. So I fucking hated it, and I will never go back to Lowe's again in my life. Hate that place; it's the worst. Don't <laughs> don't support it. <laughs> Those companies having such uh, like so many problems with understaffing too. Yeah. Like it's always been a constant thing for me. It's like we're understaffed. It's like oh yeah, you don't fucking say. I don't, don't say the best. <laughs> <laughs> Working at restaurants isn't all terrible. There are some great restaurant jobs, like some of the funnest ones I've ever been in, but. I wouldn't look at that as a career. Yeah. Let's, personally. Yeah. I I don't know why, but when I was young I kinda made a rule that I wasn't gonna go into food service just because I'd heard so many, you know, terrible horror stories about people working in food service. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean all of you guys have worked in food service though. I yeah. will say it's the worst job I've had. Food service. That's what I kept hearing, and that's why I didn't do it. Yep, it's awful, honestly. <laughs> working like working to please people is really fucking awful. Yeah. Especially also, when it comes to food. Yeah, there's like a... People get ex even more defensive and just mm. absolutely shitty when it comes to food. Oh, yeah. It's kind of fair, but I mean, to a degree, you know? Like, if you come out and there's like hair or like some kind of shit in your food, then yeah, I get it. But if it's just, like, a little off, and you throw a fucking temper tantrum like a toddler, yeah, I'm probably gonna fucking hate you for that. Yeah. yeah. Dude, well, also, like, I've heard so many stories of, like, fast food workers doing, like, just absolutely disgusting shit to people's food yeah. that pissed them off, or they just, you know, got bored. Like, I had a... Um, 
not our youth minister, but one of our one of our pastors in church growing up. Uh, he would always tell us stories about when he worked in Arby's, and he was like, "Yeah, we would have guys. They would like if a customer said anything they didn't like, or they were just having a bad day, they would just like take the buns." And like pull their pants down and just wipe the buns on their ass and then make the sandwich Christ. and give it to them. Oh, that's Fucking great, hot dude. And I was like, Ugh. <laughs> all right, this is why I'm nice to, to oh, food service so, workers. That's so awesome. It's gonna be great when that guy has a flat tire and it's raining and no one stops to help him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If it's okay, take it completely off tangent. If it's raining. I'm not gonna help them. Fuck that. <laughs> I don't stop. I don't stop and help anybody on the side of the road. I I have fucking trust issues with that shit. I will if it's if they like if I'm not busy. Like it has to be ideal conditions, right? Like I'm not busy. It's nice weather. I have you know all of my tools in the back seat. Like all these requirements have to be met before I'm like, all right, I guess I'll pull over and help these people. Nah, yeah, I will never stop for people stuck on the side of the road. That's why I don't like like my biggest fear is getting like stranded on the side of the road away from home. Oh yeah, because I don't expect anybody to stop for me. Because my brother stopped and helped somebody one time, and he got his license, social security card, and everything like that stolen. Oh yeah, and the dude yeah. stole his truck and everything. Yeah, so I'm like, not even gonna chance that. Sorry, hard no. Yeah. Call triple A, bro. I mean that's fair, yeah. Like I am not your guy. I'm yeah. not about to get fucking all my shit jacked, my truck stolen, and all that happy shit just just because I wanted to be a good Samaritan. <laughs> no. Yeah. I mean, I've I've there's only been like once or twice where I've helped somebody, <clears throat> and it was usually it was let me see. I don't remember the first one, but the latest one I remember it was some woman. Um. So obviously, you know, I could beat her ass if i needed to um but she <laughs> or she she basically just like i don't i i think she ran out of gas or something but like right in the middle of the street she was like the middle row of you know all the lanes so she was dead center of the street and she was out trying to push her car over not going very well and i was like you know i'm not doing anything i'll pull over and i got out and i was like hey you need some help she's like yeah was like all right you get in i'll push and then we just i just helped her push it over to the curb and then i left so <laughs> i didn't even really do that much god damn see what she should have done is sat in the driver's seat and said okay you push <laughs> she wasn't making any progress <laughs> pushing by her own so i don't know <laughs> well that would have gone <laughs> Add God yourself into the mix. Yep. <laughs> Run, come on! No pain, no gain. Just cheer from the front seat. You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> Being the fucking cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but it kind of like you're saying though is if I if I ever break down, I don't expect anyone to help me. I'd rather people not help me. Yeah, like, like I just, broke down. Let me deal with it. Yeah, like I, I'll call, you know, Isaac and make him come pick me up or something. Yeah, I usually like I'll hit up one of my other buddies or something. But like, if anybody stops and is like, "Hey, you need help?" I'm like, no, fuck off. Like, uh, totally no, fine. No. Don't embarrass yeah. me further. <laughs> like, just stop, stop acknowledging my shame and pity. Right. Don't don't acknowledge my existence right now. It's a really rough rough patch, bro. Of course, I don't know that I've ever actually I've ever broken down on the side of the road. I haven't. It sucks. I have only one time, and that's because a heater hose broke. I literally flopped off. That was it. Because like I've I've helped you know my sisters before and a couple of old roommates who either their battery died or they ran out of gas or something i've never never had the experience of that myself it's not thrilling i'll say that yeah mine was due to me not changing my brakes when i needed to that's not fun so it got real bad and then my brake shoes and my brake pads fell apart 
in the wheel. So, oh shit! <laughs> so Damn, like, right. <laughs> <That's> exciting! <laughs> it was great when it all happened. I was like, oh, maybe I should have changed that. <laughs> that was a big old whoops. Ain't shit I can do about it now. Right. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> hey, as long as no one got hurt, you know, fine. Nah, no, no one got hurt, fortunately, but. Yeah, it was bad. It ruined the car. And I was Damn. I was driving uh, home today, and so my truck is f- absolutely falling apart at the moment. The yeah. AC doesn't work. It runs like ass. It rattles in the muffler because I think something's broken inside the muffler. So it's a very ratchet car at the moment. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm cruising down Avenue Q. With all my windows down because it's 100 degrees outside and I'm dying. And uh, two other cars pull up next to me. It Both similarly, you know, trash vehicles. <laughs> they, both, <laughs> they also have all their windows down. They've got dents in all their fucking, you know, the sides and all this shit. Every, <laughs> we're, all three of us are blaring our music. And I, you know, I kind of like a little left around. I'm like, hell yeah, squad goals. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> squad goals. Never met those people Fucking in my Jeremy. life, but in that moment, we were brethren. <laughs> that ratchet gang. <laughs> ratchet gang, yep. We all understood each other without words. Exactly. <laughs> all three of oh. us were like, we don't need to be ashamed right now. <laughs> Nope, all three of us are on the struggle bus. <laughs> I know, I I need to get a new car. But cars are expensive. Everything's expensive. It's a bad time for a car right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's... But there's a lot of people getting new cars right yeah, now. Yeah, but it's also a bad time to have a car that gets shit gas mileage like mine does. So. Yeah. Oh, it's a terrible time to get a fucking car that's got shit gas mileage. Mm-hmm. Fix your bike. Yeah, well, but the, the problem with that is, like, I could, all it needs is a battery, it's not that bad, but it's... I have tools and shit I have to carry with me everywhere. Saddlebags. They would not fit in the saddlebags. <laughs> 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 Just, like, fucking 50 pounds, like, probably, probably more than that, probably, like, three, two, 300 pounds of tools. I was, I was legitimately bags. thinking about looking into trailers for motorcycles. <laughs> No, honestly, yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> I too. have a little trailer, and I pull, put all my tools on there, pull it around, you know? That'd be yeah, kind of cool. sick. be kind of dope, yeah. right? Yeah. I could, And then I started like taking it further, and I was like, well, what if at some point in the future, when I ever you know, get my journeyman's and my master's, I start a company, and I call us, you know, like the riding electricians or some shit. And the whole, our whole thing is that we all just ride motorcycles and have little trailers with all our tools on. <laughs> Call it riding electric, and you all ride electric motorcycles. Ooh, yes. Like all Harley live wires, because you Hell know yeah. you own your own business, make enough money for it. For real. So, yeah. You know, man, motorcycles—they're great for hauling, you know, lots of material. Like, so it'd be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just Still picturing working. now someone riding a motorcycle carrying a bundle of 10 foot EMT on their shoulder. So just oh, like yeah. they have, a you know, 10 <laughs> poles, a thousand foot of EMT, one hand on their shoulder, one on the handlebars. <laughs> just just down the going road. for it, dude. Oh, man. But hey, we would be that's part of the marketing, right? People are like, yeah, yeah you guys see them crazy ass dudes on motorcycles carrying, you know, hundreds of feet of pipe? <laughs> <laughs> Absolute legends, dude. <laughs> These fucking hoss. It's absolutely dudes. shredding it down the highway. <laughs> Legend has it they all have horse cocks. <laughs> yeah, that would definitely be one of the requirements to joining my company. <laughs> Just have must be hung. <laughs> must have. You have to prove it. All right. Like. <laughs> all right. Well, it's been fun. So. <laughs> well, damn. Let's see. Part of it would be. Uh, you can have a small penis, but you have to carry yourself like a man that has a big penis. Big dick um, energy. Big dick energy. A BDE. That's what. That's your company name. B- BDE. 
Big Dick Energy. Big Dick Electric. <laughs> oh man, Big, big Dick Electric. Big BDE. Hell yeah. <laughs> I like that. You know, wouldn't go over very well with a lot of people, but. Big Who'd Rich you have fine. do your electric work, Big Dick big Electric? Big Dick Electric. Big Rich, Big Rig, Richards. Big Richards. Damn, I could not, could not say that. <laughs> big, 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 big Richards. Richards. <laughs> big Richards. <laughs> <laughs> it does sound like a, like a local thing. It does, it does. honestly. Yeah. Like a Big Richards. I always, uh, so every time I see a company that has like a name in the title... I always wonder if that person is still there or if that person ever existed, right? So if it's like John's Electric, I'm like, was there ever actually a John or are you just lying to me right now? <laughs> well, there's like this small little muffler shop that I always go to to get any like exhaust work done. And it's called Bill's Radiator and Muffler. I have never met Bill in my fucking life. <laughs> Say, who is Bill? Like, there's a guy there that runs shit, but he's not Bill. I'm like, who the <laughs> fuck is Bill? What's happening right now? Yeah. Could somebody fucking, fucking show me Bill? No, Bill never existed. See, that I think be... he did at one point, but he's probably dead by now. Right, well, it was probably like he started the company in 1920 in Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> Max. <laughs> <laughs> fucking now homie's just gone right gone so would, but his legacy lives on dude that would be me if I ever was gonna start a company I would just give it like the dumbest name I could think of oh yeah just cause why not I, yeah. want, I want to make people say it <laughs> yeah, like, like big dick big energy dick ele- big dick electric <laughs> big dick electric <laughs> 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 but see then all right, you would have see you got to make it a little subtle right so you just call it bde and you'd have to come up with some other meaning for the words like uh i don't know brilliant diagnostics electronics uh, i don't know fucking know something yeah. right so yeah. then everyone's like oh yeah that's what it stands for but then every time someone says bde you're just kind of like <laughs> you, <laughs> you tell all the employees it's big dick electric but we tell our customers it's this other thing exactly so <laughs> then they're all in on the joke it'd be it's really perfect. fucking funny dude honestly <laughs> if only you could get enough people working for you to actually carry that out that weren't fucking dickheads and would just spoil it right because they definitely would just spoil it. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. I wouldn't trust myself with that knowledge. For real. Just thinking about the people that I work with at the moment, I'm like, yeah, no. Like, five out of the seven would just immediately be like, <laughs> yeah, we're BDE. It stands for Big Dick <laughs> Energy. Like, <laughs> like, that's how they would introduce themselves. Fucking perfect. All right. What are going to take it off of jobs? Uh, I don't know how much you guys keep up with pop culture as it is. Um, me? Not at all. Did you did y'all hear about uh, Amaranth Stalker? No. So no. for those of you that don't know, Amaranth is a Twitch streamer. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> she does a lot of... Uh, titty streams. Us? Yeah, titty streams. I guess would be the the fastest way to put it. Yeah, <laughs> like I think she fans was. Too. Yeah, I think she was one of the first Twitch streamers to do the uh, hot tub streams. Yeah, you know where they got bikinis on and set up a little pool in their room, and they're like, oh, put it in their water and sold yeah, it. They're like, oh, I'm just, I'm swimming. <laughs> That's why I'm in a bikini. No, she, uh, Amaranth bottles her farts and sells them. Oh. Does she? Yeah. I didn't uh, know that. Pay Money Wubby bought, bought yeah, one, I, I think. Go shop for some this person's like tried to straight get into Amaranth. Yeah, no, there's, so, okay, so, there's this, she had a stalker. Uh, I was I was watching a video about it today. Um, this guy who lived in Estonia sold everything he owned, bought a ticket to come over to the U.S. Um, I think she's in Houston. She's somewhere in Texas. I think it's Houston. Um, Is she really? I think so. Yeah. 
But so he came over, found her P.O. box because she has a P.O. box set up so people can send her shit. And he camped out at her P.O. box for, I think they said like 30 to 40 days. Damn. Like, what the watching fuck? the P.O. box, seeing who came to pick it up, following them to, to their, you know, wherever they live so he could try to find her house. This whole time, he's streaming it. Like, he's made a Twitch account, and he's streaming himself stalking her at this point, right? Whoa. And so, uh, you know, Twitch blocks him a couple of times. He just makes a new username. I don't remember what it was, but it was like, you know, stalker I am 69. And then the next one was stalker I am 68. And like, uh, he just kept changing the number to make new accounts. And so, dude, right? (laughs) He like streamed this whole thing. And uh, eventually he found out where she lived. And he like, went to her house and was, like, outside of the fence in the bushes, like, streaming himself, like, I found her house, guys. I shouldn't be doing this, but I have to. I need to. I gotta do this. Like, fucking acting like a goddamn serial killer. I was, like, sweating and shit. Yeah, and so she, like, called the police, and they were just, the police were like, yeah, whatever. You're making up shit. Fuck you. And <clears throat> didn't respond for like like an hour or something until they finally showed up and arrested yeah. this guy and deported him back to Estonia. That's <laughs> so, fucking nuts. Jesus Christ. That's fucking Actually, crazy, right? That's that's pretty nuts. Yeah. So like Jeez, by, so he, that dude needed to get bonked for dude, fucking being too horny. For reals. It like the crazy part about He's it to me. Deal. Yep. Is that he would go into her stream sometimes and would be like talking in her chat, and she would be like, Hey, uh, uh, stalker, I am 69. I don't want you to come to my house. I do not want to talk to you. Like, I have no interest in you whatsoever. Basically, like telling him straight to his face, Fuck off. And he was like, mm-hmm. All right, wifey, I'll be there in an hour. Like, yeah. 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 Ew, it's so gross, too. Yeah. Dude, and so just all this crazy shit was happening with her. And, like, I'm I'm watching all this shit, and I'm like, yeah, this guy is fucked. And then um, so many people were, like, tweet, because she, like, put out a whole long tweet about all this going on. And so many people were responding to her tweet, and were in her chat, and were like, well, you know, you were kind of asking for it by being <laughs> in a bikini on Twitch. And I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> like, I, I, I kind of see what they're saying, like, what they're trying to say. Like, you got to expect this kind of behavior from from some people. Mm-hmm. But it's not war. Like there's no excuse for that behavior still uh, occurring, right? Like yeah, like it's, yeah. Everybody knows like, that you shouldn't be surprised that someone will do this. Yeah, but well, you yeah. shouldn't be surprised by it. But it's oh, man, it's so bad. Like that shit shouldn't happen to I anyone, agree. man. Like, like yeah. that's just some fucked up shit. Even if you don't agree with what she does, like she doesn't deserve that shit. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, this is fucking creepy. Yeah. Like even if dude, even if dude was just trying to be funny about it, I mean that's you know. Yeah, that's not funny. way too much commitment to just try to be funny. <laughs> dude, you'd be surprised what some people would do for fame. I mean, yeah, I, yeah, I guess, man. Like how obsessed? Always saw his minute in the sunlight. How obsessed do you have to be with somebody? Hella. To, to do that shit, man. Hella fucking. Dude, people have obsessions over cartoon characters. Yeah. Fucking uh, Ratchet from Rescue Rangers? What? Bro, I knew girls in high school, or like junior high and shit, that had cr- a crush on fucking Double D from Ed, Ed and Eddie. Whoa. What? That's, That's like, like the mm-hmm. worst one. <laughs> no, bro, that was like a thing. <laughs> of all cartoons. Yeah. Double D. Weird. Yeah. I guess it's like a personality thing, I guess. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. No, yeah, it's beyond me, but it's just some people are fucking ain't got much else to do, I guess. Yeah. I mean, 
like part of me wants to try to explain it right like oh you know make it make sense yeah like <laughs> it wants it wants to understand what's happening because otherwise it's just bat shit but like no know, it's pretty much just bat shit <laughs> yeah it really is hey, yep like whenever you go to where you're leaving your home country to go fucking essentially yeah just basically stalk, stalk. A streamer yeah i i've also just never understood that people don't understand that like twitch streamers people on youtube anyone making any kind of content they're not being themselves they're putting right. on an act right like they're pretending mm -hmm. to be somebody like even us right now I don't talk this much normally. I'm normally a very quiet, very reserved person. But once we start recording, I'm like, all right, we have to be talking. The conversation needs to keep going. Just make up some bullshit and keep it going along. And that's on a very, like, minor scale compared to these Twitch streamers that stream seven days a week and are just constantly you know, screaming at the camera. Like, how do you not realize that's just an act? Well, it's like Dr. Disrespect. I mean, that dude's probably one of the best about staying in character. Yeah. You know, that's all it is. It's just a character, you know? So yeah. it's just funny to me that some people can't make that... Distinction. Kind of, yeah, yeah, that distinction about the person they're watching on the internet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of people I feel like also have like that hopeful romantic kind of perspective on it too, that that's really what they're like in real life. And which yeah. it's, it is the case in some instances, but in the vast majority, it's not. Yep. I mean, definitely. Yeah. Cause there's like, there's a lot of people that I, you know, a lot of YouTube channels I watch and Twitch streams I watch. And I'm like, man, they, they seem like really nice people. They seem like people I'd get along with really well. But I don't actually know that for yeah, sure, yeah, so I'm not gonna makes. I'm not gonna bet on it until it's proven. You cut out? What'd you say? No, I'm just saying like uh, it's like I I know on their online persona is very nice and respectable, but that doesn't mean that they are that in real life. Right. So I'm not gonna bet on it that they're good people just because I've watched a 20 minute YouTube video of them. Yeah. 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 You can't exactly you can't exactly figure out someone's entire personality just from watching them on the internet. Yeah. Nope. <clears throat> One Sorry. thing I hate seeing too is like all the YouTubers and stuff that make their lives seem like they're perfect. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like, come on, ain't nobody happy. Ain't nobody that happy all the time. Right. Everyone's a little depresso. So like all the all the kid like YouTubers, the <clears throat> YouTubers that try to appeal to younger audiences, I'm always just like, man, this it just it just irritates me. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I... Sometimes just smiling and being happy all the time is just a facade for being more depressed than most people. Yeah. You're... I mean, that's why you always see like all a lot of those a lot of the comedians killing themselves like robin williams mm -hmm. everyone's like man he's super happy all the time very energetic constantly making jokes but it's a lot of times it just turns out that they're just pretending to be that when in reality yep. they're very sad yeah what was that last comedian that killed himself i think it was his name was like epstein or something uh. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Yep, he totally killed himself. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Too political. I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I mean, it's not really political, though. Fucking kids is bad, and you deserve to be killed for it. So I'm just yeah, gonna make way. it take a hard stance on it. Maybe a controversial, I guess. <laughs> right. Controversial take here. I don't think we should fuck kids. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Fucking we should crazy to say. Not do that. <laughs> I mean, it's just what one person died for that shit, and all the people who attended those parties. Dude, you're right. That's the scary thing. Are, is are the still one guy attending those parties somewhere else? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, it was basically a fall guy for it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Not, yeah. I mean, almost, yeah, pretty much just a fall guy for it. Yeah, that's some crazy shit. Isn't it, yeah. though? World is hey, dude, apparently, uh, I learned that DFW is a pretty big, like, 
play area for uh, child sex like trafficking and shit really? like that. Oh, yeah, and shit. human tra- human trafficking in general. Hmm. Uh, DFW is pretty bad for it. Because hmm. I mean, I'm always getting Amber alerts for abduct- abducted children and shit like yeah. that. Man, I get constantly. I get those Amber alerts all the time, mm-hmm. and it makes me a terrible human being. But I basically just ignore them. <laughs> I do too, because I mean, what the fuck am I supposed to do about that? Yeah, I mean, yeah. a lot of them aren't even happening in my town. Like they're Dang. they're like on the other side of Texas. I'm like, how am I gonna fucking recognize a single vehicle from the other side of Texas? What are you talking about? Right. Also, I don't go outside very often, so yeah. I also don't pay attention to vehicles. It's fine yeah, me that either. Much. Yeah. yeah, dude. I so <clears throat> I have been this. This weird thing has been happening to me recently, where when I get into a vehicle... I was about to say, it's called puberty. It's called puberty, finally. (laughs) My balls are finally (laughs) dropping. Um, But no, (laughs) when I get into my truck to, like, drive home or some shit, it's like... I, I don't know how to explain it. It's hard to explain. It's like I... I almost black out. Which is a we- a bad way to put it because I'm operating a vehicle, but yeah, like it's yeah. it's like I enter like an autopilot, and I like I'm not really thinking about anything. I'm just kind of driving home, and everything around me just seems like really surreal. And then I get home, and I'm like, all right, I'm home. <laughs> I think I'm just having an existential <clears throat> crisis. I will say I can't say I experienced the same thing because I mean I've been pretty much I got my plate for my bike finally. They just hadn't mailed it, um, mm-hmm. so I had to go up to the dealership to get it. And so I've been riding again, and I feel that whenever I'm driving like my truck or the, like a car or something. But anytime I'm riding my my bike, it's just like super focused and like very present. Yeah, and also yeah. it's just it's fun. Like I feel like driving a car is just fucking boring now, Dude, unless that's... it's a, on a track or something. That's like me every time. So like, you know, winter comes around and I stop riding and then summer hits and I, I'll fix my bike up and I'll start riding again. And every single time, like I'll get on my bike and I'll start cruising. And I'm like, shit, this is fun. This is a good time. I'm having a great time right now. I should do this more often. This is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> like it's yeah. like rediscovering that I enjoy riding my motorcycle around. <laughs> dude i love it it's honestly a super nice like stress reliever because like you can beat the fucking dog shit out of a motorcycle unlike a car right like it's so much cheaper and easier to repair a motorcycle oh yeah so i have no problem yeah. just absolutely thrashing one depending like on my bike specifically is super cheap to repair and maintain so i just absolutely beat the shit out of it yeah yeah yeah, I don't know. That's, Everyone that's should ride it's a like, motorcycle. I think, dude, because I was having like a really bad week last week, and then this mm-hmm. last weekend, I just took and uh, took my took it out to uh, Sam's like area over in McKinney, mm-hmm. and there's a pretty good amount of back roads and stuff just like out in front of his house. So I was just ripping it up and down those roads just as hard as I could, and man, I almost, uh, <clears throat> I actually almost crashed it because there was a little section that's kind of like a. It like weaves and it's a like sort of a hill in the middle of the weave. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so I hit it weird and landed weird and but still like relieved like so much anger was released yeah. on that one little ride and I felt so much better afterward. Yeah. It's kind of crazy, right? Cuz I I do the same shit where like I'll get on my bike and I'll start riding and it's it's not quiet. But it's there's no. It, it's no distractions. You yeah. just hear the motorcycle and the wind. Yeah, right. Yeah. It, it's it sounds you know when you're like oh I just love the sound of the wind in my hair, uh, <laughs> even though I'm wearing a helmet. I love the sound of the rumbling of the motorcycle. You know, it's so yeah. fucking cool. Like it's real though. <laughs> it's mad facts though. Yeah. Like it's just it like you get on it and you're like, man, I'm just by myself. And I can, like, think or not think, depending on what I want in the situation, and just drive around and have a fucking good time. Yeah. 
No, well, everyone than... should ride a motorcycle is what I'm saying. I think so too. I mean, the, just the gas mileage alone that I get too, because like I have my my truck, which gets like eight mpg if i'm lucky and then my bike gets 50 so i can have my truck and then, then i just use my bike as a commuter so i'm like yeah. relieving stress every single day as well as i still have my truck if i ever want to like go anywhere really far yeah yeah so nice yeah can't wait to can't wait to get a second bike though i want to get something faster yeah i'm thinking like a to... zx6 or something like that zx6r or like an r6 yeah I don't want anything crazy though. I don't. I don't think I need a leader bike because that's just probably too much for me. We'll see. See, I'm always. I did find. Uh, oh. I definitely feel that riding a motorcycle teaches you to be uh, a good driver. Honestly, for, for sure. the most part, there are people on motorcycles that are absolute douchebags and drive like shit, but. Yeah. If you're taught well, because my dad would always tell me when I when I wanted to get my motorcycle license, he was like, all right, you can get your motorcycle's license, but you have to wear a helmet all the time. And it's not so that it will save your life. It's so that when you get run over by a semi, we can still identify the face for the funeral. <laughs> and, and so, like, some super morbid shit, right? And I was just like, yeah. no, that's fair, though, like... If you get hit on a motorcycle, you're dead. Like oh, yeah. <laughs> nine times out of ten, it, yeah. you're dead. So you have to be very precise, and you have to watch everyone around you because it's almost uh, not almost, but it's a lot of times it's not even the motorcyclist's fault. It's someone else's fault that didn't see the motorcyclist and ran them over. So you have to watch your own actions and all their actions, and so I feel like it makes you a better driver. Yes, yeah, a little bit of a story time. I was actually headed out to Sam's last weekend uh, just to go hang out because I had gotten my plate, and I was like super excited, wanted to ride anyways. So I was like, okay, this gives me an excuse to get out and ride. So I went out, <clears throat> got up on uh, Highway 380, and uh, was just cruising down, and somebody... Like, as I was going, there was another motorcycle there with me. It was, like, a brand-new Sportster S, a 1250, super fast thing. Mm -hmm. And he was kind of, you know, just zipping around, going through traffic kind of fast. Not not terrible, like, manners, but still just kind of kind of like a dickhead. Yeah. And so he zipped past this, like, uh, minivan or whatever the fuck it was. I don't even remember what it was. And so I was coming up behind him, or behind him after he'd passed him, and I guess they didn't look for me. And so they started merging over into my lane right over and into me. And so I just kind of sped up real quick and got into their vision. They jerked the, jerked the wheel back over into their lane and were like saying, I'm sorry through the glass and shit. Yeah. And I was just like, fucking idiot. Right. You're like, but sorry, I doesn't like, really count. <laughs> I didn't get too pissed off, though, because, I mean, to be fair, it's like at least they didn't hit me. Yeah, that's true, but. You know, no, I can't. Could've, and also, like, I'm always, I'm always worried if I get mad and, like, it, you know, uh, what is it, express my anger, like, physically or, like, visually to the person in the car. They're always, like, there's that like the likelihood that they can just freak out and then try and kill me. Yeah, they can go into road rage and just absolutely obliterate you. Yeah, they can just run me over. Like, I'm not on a fast motorcycle, so I can't really get away. Yeah. Which that's another yeah, yeah. reason that I feel like it makes you a better driver, because you realize, I could die right now, I shouldn't antagonize people. <laughs> I shouldn't let my emotions get the yeah, better. Yeah, because there, there are people that, especially like if they're driving large trucks, they, if you irk them in the slightest... Oh, they dude, yeah, will, it's go time. <laughs> yeah, they will try to murder you right there on the street, like... like yeah. Some people lose their shit too. Like I, I've, I mean, I, I've done it before. I've lost my shit, but not anymore. I, like I said, since riding the motorcycle, I've had, I've had way better control over my emotions. Yeah, yeah. It's just because you realize, man. Yeah, whenever you're scared to get run over, you know, your 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 thought on it kind of changes. Yeah, you're like, oh shit, yep. I should, I could die right now. Fuck. No, uh -huh. <laughs> that person could just fucking end me with their massive vehicle right now. But it's even like, 
Because if you're in one of those massive vehicles, you have a sense of, I'm protected. Yep. You're really not, though. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. mm-hmm. Like, you feel invincible because you're sitting on 2,000 pounds of steel, but... In sex appeal. In sex appeal, baby. Uh, <laughs> but you're fucking not, dude. I saw a video the other day of someone, they were getting their truck repoed, and so it was mm-hmm. up on a, a tow truck. And they were, Those they got in the truck. always crack me up, dude. Because right? people always end up tearing up their shit. That's, yeah. I don't understand their thought process. Because they get in the truck and they start, like, gunning it forward and backwards. You know, forward and backwards, forward and backwards. Trying to get off the tow truck. And in the process, they just rip their back bumper off and the axle off. And fuck up their car beyond repair. And I'm just like, why? Why would you do like, that? Like, man. Man, that, that you know... Two three hundred dollar tow bill is now a fucking multi thousand dollar repair bill. Yeah, because you mm-hmm. fucked your shit up. Well, and also because it's if your car is being repoed, it's not your car anymore. It's the bank's car. So now you yeah. ruined the bank's car. You've also Ooh, probably money. damaged the tow truck's car. So you owe money to these two separate entities now. <laughs> Yeah, that's a that's a big letting your emotions get to get uh, you know away from you. It's a big yeah. oof. Yeah, maybe we should have that in like public school. People learning how to control their emotions. Oh wait, sorry, that doesn't build a good assembly line workers. My bad. <laughs> Got him. But for <laughs> real, dude, I have always thought that there should be some kind of not really therapy class, but like a I don't know, like a like a mental awareness class, I guess. Like, like just a should... class that teaches you that like you're gonna get self awareness. Yeah, like you're gonna get self awareness class. You're gonna be angry sometimes. You're gonna be sad sometimes. But you should just you got to learn how to handle that shit and keep going without fucking up everyone else's life. <laughs> To figure your own shit out before you fuck bottle someone it. else's day. Bottle it up. Bottle it. Shove it down. <laughs> oh, yeah. The man method. <laughs> Get pissed off. Let everybody know about it. Be a man. Be a man. I love those TikToks. <laughs> Dude, they're, they're so great. accurate sometimes. They're so good. <laughs> God damn it. Shit fucking kills me. Yeah. Oh, man, that's great stuff. I don't know. I So, like, when you guys were in high school or middle school, did y'all feel like... uh, Because for me personally, I felt like I was being pressured into being... I don't know how to say this without sounding, like, super pretentious and super, like, condescending, but... I, I felt like I was being pressured into being the best mm-hmm. because no, that's definitely I a thing. like, and I'm, this is going to sound like I'm bragging on myself, but it's really not because this ruined my life. I think so. Um, in high school, I, I never studied. I hardly did homework. I Damn. like all this shit. I just ignored. And I finished eighth in my class, like top A's, uh, pre-cal, you know, all sorts of college college courses. I was considered super smart, and they were like, "Oh, if you just applied yourself a little bit, you would be, you know, a genius, right?" And so, like, I felt this this pressure that being a genius should come easy to me. So then I got into college, and it didn't because <laughs> college is hard. And no one ever yep. taught me that you sh- actually need to try, you know? <laughs> yep. <laughs> and so, I guess my question is more just, uh, like, in high school, did it ever feel to you guys that you were being, like, taught a lie about how oh, yeah. easy life would be? Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, I mean, not really, to be honest. Your path is easy to decide upon. Right, that's what I think the biggest lie for me was is like the they like they made it seem like decisions weren't going to be as like hard as they are. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah. Like the life path was going to be like, oh, you can, there's, you know, this and this and this you can choose to do. It's like, oh, yeah, that's, that must be a nice luxury for some people to be able to choose certain shit. Right. Yeah. See, I feel uh, like they, I wish they had given me more choices. Because that's it was, the thing, yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. Like, it must be nice for other people to have that luxury of choice, but yeah. like, most people don't have that many choices. Yeah, because yeah. like, I was, I probably should shouldn't have gone into college. I should have gone to work somewhere, right? But the yeah. it it was never a question. It was you're going to college. Which college are you going to? What are you studying in college? You know, it was never, do you want to go to college? It was, you're going to college. Now yeah. make up your mind. <laughs> and for me, even then, it's just like, yes, that's your choice is go to work or go to college. Uh, right. Not like, hey, go travel, go experience some shit. Here's some, like, time to just live life for a bit. Yeah. It's, it's like, me. well, your childhood must have, was hopefully fun. If it wasn't and it sucked, damn. Yeah, that that's, that's rough. That's, yeah, that's rough. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. He's like, all right, cool, all right, I guess I'm just going to figure this shit out because you guys didn't teach me shit in public school. Yeah. <laughs> as far as life skills go, you know? Yeah, that's fair. Well, that's the... Those are the, that's the educational system pumping out workers. You're, yep. Don't ask questions, just do. Yeah. All right, boss, bet. You got it, the bell dismisses <laughs> me, motherfucker. <laughs> God, I hated that shit. No, the bell doesn't dismiss you. I do. Oh, I dismiss you. Yeah. Fucking hated oh, yeah. that shit. Oh, yeah. I fucking yeah. hated that because I was always like, what the fuck is the bell for then? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I could understand it to a degree. Like, if you're right in the, like, dead middle of a math problem, right? Mm -hmm. It's only going to take another 30 seconds to finish up the problem, and then everyone can leave. Alright, I get that. I understand that. Nah, but bro, if... you better start fucking speed talking while I'm putting my shit away. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't know. One of my, uh... One of my pet peeves, and I don't really know why it bothers me so much, is if I'm in, like, a class or a lecture, um... People, like, talking in the background... Or, mm -hmm. like, putting away their shit when it's not even time to go, but it's getting close to time to go. Mm -hmm. And you can hear them, you know, ruffling all their papers, shoving them in their bags. It irritates me, man. And I'm not even the teacher, so I... <laughs> Jerry's, Jerry's the kid that'll stand up. The bell doesn't dismiss no, you. The teacher the does. The teacher does. No, I would never do that <laughs> shit. But it's like... I don't know, it just seems kind of disrespectful to me, right? Like oh, yeah, you're, totally, I, I get that, yeah. Like, if it's, the bell rings, alright, start putting up your shit, that's fine. But if it's 15 till, and you're packing up all your shit, and you're just talking to your friend next to you about, you know, Magic the Gathering or something, like, I, it just seems so rude to me. Which I can say I've definitely done that before. Like that's yeah, yeah. I'm that's totally me. <laughs> I'm yeah. totally that kid. <laughs> so I was probably the I would probably would have been the most annoying person to you, Jeremy, in and high you school. You are so. <laughs> see, see, <laughs> exactly, dude. I don't know. It's just I think it's also part of uh, since my mom was a teacher, I think that's where I learned it. Oh yeah, because that, that makes a lot of sense. My mom was my teacher for biology. Mm -hmm. So people would do that shit in her class while I'm in there, and I'm just like, y'all are being real rude to my mom right now. <laughs> Bro, I would hate having my mom as my teacher, because I would hate, like, hearing all the other kids talk shit about my mom. Oh, fuck. Uh, I don't know. All the... Everyone liked my mom, so I was fine with it, but... <laughs> I, can, I can imagine that people would talk shit about my mom in class. Yeah. If that had happened, I would have fucking hated it, yeah. That would not have been a pleasant experience. Yeah, dude, fucking, that's, that's always, like, because I think we had some kids in, uh, Kahoma that fucking their mom, their parents were teachers, didn't, weren't they? Oh, Brandon? yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, like, I always, like, kind of had to tiptoe around talking shit about those teachers. <laughs> 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 yeah, just don't say anything in front of them. Hopefully, hopefully don't find out I was talking mad shit. 
Yeah, man, that was the since my mom was my teacher in my high school, I could not fuck up. Like if I did anything wrong, my mom knew about it before I did. Like, <laughs> oof. Dude, that's I, also rough. Like I would hate that. Yeah, it was bad, but you know it's fine. She bought me macaroni and cheese, so. <laughs> Uh, that, that would make up for Didn't it. Yeah, I'd be down for that. Poor people school lunches. I <laughs> said, my mom's here, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I get to eat in the fucking teacher's lounge, you Hell fucking yeah. pussies. I would just go eat in her classroom. Didn't even have to interact with the teacher. Said, fuck you, I'm too good for that. <laughs> God damn it. That's really interesting. I don't know. I, like I say, I always feel like I would hate having a teacher, like, for a parent. Oof. Yeah. See, the best part was when the, your parent was the sub. Yeah, your, whenever your mom would come in, I was kind of, like, I was always on my best behavior. I was like, oh, this uh, is Brandon's mom. I don't want to fuck this up. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that and was... And I just got away with everything. So yep. not the story with most substitute teachers. Jesus Christ. You remember the sub we called Santa Claus? No. You don't? Nah. Bro, everybody loved him. I, I don't remember. Dude, was, I was indifferent. I didn't really fucking care. I don't know. I always... like All, all the subs we had were usually fucking ass. Yeah, they're, either, usually. they're usually fucking assholes. I hated the substitute teachers. Dude, why are part. subs, like... So crazy, right? <laughs> Bro, subs get that power complex like crazy. Oh, for sure. Like, that's their thing. Like, substitute teacher, all right, I'm going to have a complex about this whole power <laughs> thing. <laughs> right, they like come in and they're like, all right, I'm going to do roll call. And if, if you say anything besides he I'm here, you're going to the principals. <laughs> yeah, dude, actually, they fucking freak out at anything. You're like, dude, chill. It was a joke. Dude, because I, I remember we had, you know, every school has that one girl who instead of saying here, she goes, present. present. Exactly. <laughs> and so that that girl, uh, we had a sub. What was his name? It was like Vogler or something like that. And uh, everyone's going around. They're like, here, here, here. She goes, present and then he stops and repeats her name she goes present he stops hmm? repeats her name again and she's like <laughs> here and then he keeps going <laughs> <laughs> he's like fuck you bitch yeah i was like oh That's man great. she was a very nice <laughs> person so <laughs> oh i'm sure she was lovely and we had a <laughs> We had a, sure a, a, a substitute teacher. We all called him Patches. I don't remember his actual name. Um, but he was like a veteran. Cool. Uh, I don't know if he ever actually fought in anything, but he didn't seem that old. And he wore a, like an army jacket covered in patches, which is why we called him Patches. And he was insane. Like he <laughs> an abs actual like psychopath like bat shit. Like we <laughs> were in English class and he brought like an old school MRI. Um nice. MRI, 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 sorry. MRI. <laughs> uh that came in like the little metal cans, you know? Yeah. And he was like, Yeah. This is what we used to do, you know, out when we were fighting the Charlies or whatever the fuck. And uh, he like he's like, yeah, you take this little can. This is peanut butter right here. You open it up and you light it and you use it in a little sterno can. So he like showed us like how to prep a little hot meal off of a sterno peanut butter can. Like, oh my god, this guy was crazy, man. It was actually eggs. It just looked like peanut butter. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Dude, them MREs, a bit weird. I think this I think this peanut butter is old. It tastes like eggs. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like eggs. God man, MREs. Fuck, dude. Those things would suck ass. <laughs> we uh had a Marine that worked at our site for a bit and he would bring up MREs for like our shift lead and uh for some of our coworkers to try. I never tried them because you know, I've heard plenty of stories about how they make you constipated or give you diarrhea and shit. So I'm like, you know, I'm good. <laughs> right. But some of my coworkers would try them and, you know, they 
they told me, yeah, yeah, they they're not that good. Hmm. I'm like, huh? Who would have thought? Yeah. You know, a wartime, no you know, survival food probably not right. going to taste that great. Just hmm, no shit. Yeah. Uh, MRE tasting good? Yeah. Surprise. How much do MREs cost? Because I'm in need of some cheap food. So like, <laughs> I think you got to think they're very expensive. Pretty big bulk in order for you to get a deal out of them. So if I buy like mile. some old military surplus, what's that? Uh, I got Amazon, honestly. Honestly, <laughs> y'all ever y'all ever watch Community? Mm-hmm. I don't think I have. Great that's, ass that's show for me. So good. I highly recommend it. Um, there one of their episodes is like a Halloween special, and that's the mm-hmm. whole plot is that the dean of the community college buys expired MREs from a army surplus store and like <laughs> yeah. feeds them to all the students and it turns them all into zombies and <laughs> that's like the whole episode oh. until they get like brainwashed by the FBI or some shit. Good ass good ass episode. You should watch it. Great show. Okay. Yeah, I've heard good things about community. I just haven't seen it. I'm that's typical for me though. I don't watch shit. Yeah. See I feel like I watch too much garbage. That was Bad when you see a great show like that, and you can, you kind of see it lose its luster. Oh, dude, yeah. And then at the end of at the end of it, like you know, the last season to air, it's kind of like it's not that great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's like the the yeah. show has now petered off, and like yeah, it's just like something you used yeah. to like a lot, but now it's kind of eh. dude. Well, that's like. Yeah exactly like community right because they got canceled like twice i think mm-hmm. yeah and in the last season they lost like three of the like seven main characters so almost half of the main characters and so you like watching and one leaves and you're watching and another one leaves and you're just like like a sense of dread starts coming over you're like oh no this is going this is bad <laughs> Yeah, this is it. No. <laughs> it's always so kind of interesting. They do a couple of D and D episodes. Those are There's good. blackface Shoot. in one of them. Who does blackface? Uh, <laughs> what's his face? Uh, Abin? No, 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 no. Um. Oh, uh, dude, the his name is Chang in the show. I don't know. Yeah, his no, name. yeah, it's, it's Chang. Uh, He's a Spanish teacher. Yeah, what's his name? He's in Hangover, the Hangover Same. movie. It's oh, I know who you're talking about. The like doctor, the, a- the Asian, the doctor Asian doctor guy. guy. Yeah. He's Korean. No, he's Chinese or something. I thought he was Korean. I don't know if he's actually a doctor. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. He's actually oh, really smart. He actually which... has a tiny penis. Yeah. <laughs> but that yeah. makes it even funnier when you see him playing, like, batshit crazy characters. He is a right. really good crazy dude. Like, yeah. I mean, it was great. Show. Is that the is Community the one with Donald Glover in it? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay, I've seen dude. clips of it. Man, Donald it looks like Glover, it's hilarious. It's very funny. Like, I just finished rewatching it for like probably like the third time in the past like five years or something. It still makes mm-hmm. me laugh. Like, <laughs> at a couple of moments, I'm like, this is fucking hilarious, but. Donald Glover is way too talented, all right? Yeah, that's he's, what I was going to say. Homie's multifaceted dude, as he's fuck. he's so good at everything he does. I don't understand yeah. it. I don't either. It's fucking awesome, though. Like, he's a great actor. He's a great comedian. He's a great artist. He's a great musician. Fucking good at everything. You're like, can you it's suck confused. at something, please? Yeah, you're making right. me feel bad. God. <laughs> <laughs> dude, don't lie, right? <laughs> I can't fucking compete. I know this is the type of people that really, really uh, make my self confidence absolutely plummet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people who are just naturally gifted at shit. Yeah, dude, that's one thing. Like <clears throat> the kind of skill sets that just take like years to get good at, like skateboarding, for instance. I always wanted to be good at skateboarding, but it's such a grind to get good at skateboarding. Yeah. Because, like, you can get to where you can do, like, an ollie or, you know, a pop shove it or just a shove it or whatever, you know, maybe do, like, a little board slide grind or something. And you can, like, ride around in the bowl, but you can't do any tricks. 
And to get past that point takes so much fucking time. Yeah. Yeah. And I like I have mad respect for people who can just grind that shit out because it, it can't couldn't be me. Right. Like it's one of those that it's it's easy to get decent at, but it's difficult right. to master. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. it's difficult to even just like get really good at, not even yeah. master. You know. I feel like there's too many of those. There are too many of those like, uh, fuckheads making us look bad. Well, video games are one thing that's kind of like uh, ever-growing skill ceiling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, CSGO is still being played professionally, and it came out in, like, 2012. And that's just kind of surprising to me, because, you know, it's gone free-to-play and all that happy shit. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and I've been watching, like, since I've started playing again, the meta has changed so much in the matter of, like, a couple years. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of those reasons I don't like competitive games. It's because it changes too much, and I'm not dedicated enough to learn it. So, <laughs> although the changing does keep it fresh, I will say. So, like you know, you can leave for like a year and come back, and everything's like it's like a whole new game, kind of. But you know, it still feels like home. Yeah. See, I prefer games like Factorio, where it doesn't change over the course of like five years, and then. <laughs> and it gets a little bit more complicated. Just slight, eh, very slightly more complicated. They have like one more step in there. <laughs> yes. I'm actually going back and playing Breath of the Wild right now, and dude, oh, nice. that game is so fucking good. It yeah. is really good. I can't believe how like because I remember when I first played it, dude. I spent, I would just I like I was calling to work and shit just so I could play it. Damn. Yeah, it, it was it was pretty intense how much like I enjoyed it the first time through. Yeah. So are you excited for the second one? Yeah, it's dude, holy shit. I can't fucking wait. That's gonna be awesome. Hyped as fuck. And I've that's the first uh Zelda game I've ever played too, was Breath of the Wild. So uh, kind of a good own, first. I know it's probably linked to the past. Yeah, see, I don't even know which one that is, like in like the chronological order, because it's because I don't even know how many Zelda games there have been. And I was the I was the kid, like I, I went and hung out at Noah's house, and he had a Legend of Zelda game, and he's like, "This is Link," and I was like, "Oh, well, who the fuck is Link? Why is it called Legend of Zelda <laughs> right? if you play Link? Why isn't Legend of Link?" And he was like, "That's not because you're rescuing the princess," and I was like, "Fuck the princess." Link is I mean, cooler. Link wants to, yeah. Yeah, he's trying. He's trying to fuck the <laughs> he's princess. Put in his best effort, all right. Like, yeah, my ass, I am, bitch. I'm... <laughs> well, that's like the the Zelda games. Their timeline is very confusing. Yeah, yeah, it is because a lot of them like just reboot the story, or they like take place in a different future or a different past. And so it's very complicated to try to understand all of them. When instead you could just be like, yeah, I'm just going to ride around, you know, sword some guys. I don't know. I'm going to sword some guys. <laughs> Legend of Zelda. I'm going to sword some guys. It's time to sword somebody. <laughs> See, I should work for it's... the marketing department at Nintendo. <laughs> you want to sword sword-ing some time. guys? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. So Link's, I have a very uninteresting story. All right. Super boring. But I went to the library the other day. Like the Dude, public library. What a fucking nerd. I know. <laughs> For my intention was I was going to go see if they had any um of the Dungeons and Dragons manuals for older editions. Uh, because I just want to, like, read through them and see if they have any rules that I want to, you know, like, apply to our game. Um, they didn't. They'd all been checked out. I was very sad. Uh, never to return again, either. Never going back. But I did find, there was, like, in the non-fiction section, which really threw me off, was, like, these huge encyclopedias. They were probably, like, two to three inches thick. Of video game histories 
of like certain franchises. There was like a Warcraft, there was a Zelda, there was a Final Fantasy, like fucking thick ass books. And I was like, man, I really hated myself. I (laughs) buy this shit. (laughs) (laughs) Or well, I just don't. I don't know. I don't like reading that much. Like if they could, you know, compile all the information into like a, you know. Video format or audiobook? Yeah, well, I this mean... week's episode is sponsored by Audible. Just kidding, it's not. Fuck you, Audible, unless you want to sponsor us, which they don't. No, they don't. They don't. They will in the future, though. Hopefully, looking <laughs> rats. <laughs> Watch that killer killer chances right there. Called them rats. Fuck. Got em. Well, <laughs> so <laughs> Diddley did it, motherfucker. Let me ask Diddly. you guys this question. Do you think, because it's definitely been that generations as we've been as we've been going on, have been reading less and less. Do you yes. think that has impacted, like, our intelligence, our culture, anything like that? Yes, in a way. So it's uh, also changed the way we learn. I think that's the biggest thing. Yeah, that was. A, I agree with that. Well, elaborate while I go make myself a drink. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I now talk. Don't, I don't know how to elaborate without Jeremy being a contrarian. Exactly. I can contrary <laughs> from the kitchen. It's not the right word, but I'll do it. <laughs> I contrary. Can contrary from the kitchen. <laughs> I contrary. I don't know, man. Like, just the different ways we learn now is uh, we pick up so much through the mainstream media. I think we uh, learn faster. Yeah, no, definitely. But it also, the more inf- information overload, that's the word I'm looking for. Oh, yeah, that's huge. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I feel that. Yeah. Well, I mean, like most of the shit I know is from YouTube. Like I've learned, or Google, YouTube or Google has taught me basically most of the shit I know. Yeah. Yeah. And I learn it at so much quicker of a pace. Cause like, <clears throat> Sam, he's a really old school kind of guy. He likes to have like the Haynes manuals for working on cars and motorcycles and shit, which I have a couple of those manuals too, just because, you know, it's nice to just have all the information readily available right there. Mm-hmm. But because well, there's some stuff in those manuals that you like, I have never been able to find online. Right. So, you know, in a way, it's fine, but like for most rudimentary bullshit that you're, you know, most normal people are going to do on their own, yeah. just Googling that shit, dude, it's so much faster. Holy shit. And so much more straightforward. Yeah. 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 No, I totally agree because I, um, you know, again, as an electrician, I bring it up every episode. Uh, we have <laughs> the NEC, which is the National Electric Code. Uh, it's like uh-huh. a 800 page code book of all the, you know, random shit you can do. And there are times when I really enjoy having the hard copy because it's, I feel like it's easier to navigate in some situations. Then there are other times when I'm like trying to figure out, all right, what's the rule about, uh, you know, living room utility plugs in a duplex? What, Mm. what's the ruling on the impacity rating and how many do I need? It's so much easier to find a PDF of it on my phone and, you know, find, do the find function, find living room utility plugs, and it just pulls it right up. Like, yep. Rather than having to fucking sift through the book. Mm hmm. Like, even, dude, one of the things that irks me about our code book, you can go to the index and you find, um, like, if you go to, uh, wet locations, which are, you know, locations that are generally in wet areas, wet. right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'll show you, I'll show you my wet. wet. If you go to you wet, wet locations, locations in the index, it goes, see locations, comma, wet. So then you have to go to the index, locations, mm-hmm. comma, mm-hmm. wet. And it just tells you, go to page four, f- whatever. Why couldn't you just tell me that in the other one? Why? The architecture of that UI just sucks. It's dumb. Yeah. I was like, why do you have to tell me to go to this page to then find the page number? Just tell me the page number. Yeah. Oh, yeah that's a, Haynes manuals do the same kind of shit. It's like, yep. 
you'll have a section on the transmission, but that's not where the capacity is because it's on the nope. capacities page. Yeah. You're like, bruh, why couldn't you just put all of the information down for the transmission service on the transmission page? Not, d- yeah, it's it's fucking annoying. <laughs> I don't know, because kind of like y'all were saying, is I feel like we we learn a lot more now if you want to. Like, if you're interested in it, it's so much easier to learn now. Oh, yeah, yeah. selective learning is a lot easier now. Because, like, I... Probably. Like, while I'm working, I'll listen to random podcasts about, you know, they'll just I, like today I was listening to Neil deGrasse Tyson's podcast. They were talking about time travel and uh, or I'll listen to like Destiny's Twitch stream where he's discussing politics. Like, I'll just listen to this shit while I'm working. So I'm learning all this stuff while I'm, you know, actually getting things accomplished. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Whereas it used to be you had to sit down, light your candle, put your spectacles <laughs> on, read your book. <laughs> I just imagine my dad sitting down and lighting a candle to fucking read. <laughs> my ass. <laughs> Hell no. Ain't no fucking way that dude read. <laughs> I'm sure he did, just not a lot. <laughs> dude, that's, a, that's another part of it, is I feel like some of the older generations are like, Kids these days never read books, but my parents didn't read. No one I know that was in the generation above us ever read. Like, none of them read. Why is it? (laughs) And now they're blaming us for not reading. Dude, fucking reading to me? I don't know. Reading's boring as fuck to me. I don't There's been a select few books that I've just thoroughly enjoyed, but for the most part, yeah, reading's fucking boring. Yeah. I just can't get into it. It's like, there's so many uh, so many other things that are way more interesting for me to do than yeah. read. I feel like reading reading for me is a waste of time a lot of the time. That's fair, yeah. I mean, because I could definitely see, um, like you could almost consider like shows or movies. They're like, yeah, they get all the information across that books do in an eighth of the time, and they look so much cooler. And I can see what's happening. Yeah. Instead of trying to fucking imagine it with my fucking piss poor imagination. <laughs> <laughs> but then it's also um, uh, the best example I can think of is: Did y'all ever read any of the Percy Jackson series? Yeah. Percy. 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 So I no. I love that shit when I was growing up because I was a I really liked like Roman mythology, Greek mythology, stuff like that which is what those mm-hmm. books are all about. And so I really love those books. They're really good books. The movies were horrendous. They were so bad. <laughs> I don't yeah. think I've seen the books or the movies. Dude, the movies are bad, man. They do have Alexandra also... Daddario in it, so that's, you know, that's a plus. Ooh, titties. Where's she? Titties. Where's she like 16 or 17? Uh, I don't know, man. She's pretty young. And... <laughs> so not titties. <laughs> yeah. But so also, she plays Annabeth, who in the books is described as a daughter of Artemis, who has blonde hair and gray eyes, and she yeah. has neither in the movie, so... <laughs> oh, no, she's got bright she's got blue black eyes. hair and blue eyes. No, black hair and brown eyes. Yeah, yeah. she is. Alex Daddario? Yeah, she in has the movie, eyes. yeah. She has, uh oh, yeah. In general, she has bright yeah, ass she blue has eyes. Yeah, like, she has like really? steely oh, gray yes. eyes, dude. Her eyes are beautiful. Yeah, she's got remarkable yeah, eyes. Yeah, they are. See, that just, that just goes to show how much I look at her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, one of those. Yeah, I remember. Canceled again. <laughs> man, it wasn't me and you who were yes. sitting. We were at my <laughs> sister's. Uh,. I don't remember what we were doing. I think we were like playing a game, like a board game or something, and a movie was playing in the background. We got talking about Alexandria Daddario, and my sister was like, "Why do you guys like her?" And me and you were both like, "Her eyes are phenomenal. All right, like they're <laughs> so beautiful." And she was like, oh, "Really?" I was like, "Yes." Was like, are y'all gay? We we're like, "No, <laughs> but look at her eyes. Look at the eyes." They're so beautiful. Look at them. Look at them. <laughs> and then attached to the eyes is just a, you know, 
Titties. Pow bodies. <laughs> a pow body. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My favorite type. What's your, what's your type? Pa pow. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's, that's my favorite body type is pa pow. <laughs> I mean, what now she's this tall, gorgeous woman. It's like I would gladly accept death by snoo snoo. But dude. oh, absolutely. They're like, what does that even mean? And you just pull up a picture of yeah. Alex Tadaru, and you're just like, <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, <laughs> all right, I get it. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's that's it. I figured it Say out. Less. Okay. <laughs> I, I done Say figured less, you out. Man. We're good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, she's she's one of those people that I'm like, man, I really hope she's a nice person because, right, uh, it would it would really upset me if she was not. I think a lot of the times, like the celebrities' fan bases, kind of form them into something unexpected. Oh yeah, facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah actually, facts. I mean, that that's even with influencers too. Yeah. yeah. Like they expect you to be, expect them that they're perfect because all they see of them is their perfect self. Yeah, everything yeah. is aesthetic. Everything is aesthetic uh, for for a fan. Yeah, yeah. You know, that, like for a for a certain fan, fan base. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, that's like we were kind of talking last week. Was it last week about VTubers? Oh yeah, uh, yeah, that. I think yeah, it was yeah. last week. Um, and yeah. do those audiences are real bad about it because you know. When they're streaming, they have their VTuber set up, so they are a fictional character. Mm -hmm. They're playing this imaginary person, pretending to be me. perfect. And so then there was one... Uh, she, what was her name? I don't, rem I don't remember her name, but she... Um, she, like, did, like, a face reveal kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Where she just like did a full stream without the VTuber, and people lost their shit. People like mm. went fucking insane. They're like, said, "Oh, Defcon Five, go nuclear!" <laughs> yeah, they're like, "You're not a, you're not a five year old anime girl. What the fuck?" Oh, this she's pulling her cock out. <laughs> 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 I mean, that's also happened. I so. love Charlie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just imagine some female VTuber actually does like a face reveal and it's just a dude. She's pulling her cock out. <laughs> oh. Dude, that's one of my no. like favorite types of videos to watch is dudes that are like hitting on someone and they don't realize that that person is also a dude. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's like so, some dude who's like bent over in uh, yoga pants or something. Yeah. And yeah, he the, just has the thickest ass. And other dudes are walking back. Oh, hey, mama. And he's like, sup, bro. He's like, what up, up mama? And they're, and they're they, always like, what the fuck, dude? They always get pissed <laughs> off. It's like, I'm sorry, dude. You're the one who was attracted to a guy's ass. Yeah. You like this ass? <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you know to see the reaction from one of the guys. He's like, "Hell yeah, let me get in that butt later." <laughs> see, they just crop those out of there. We so. spread them cheeks, dog. Oh yeah. <laughs> see, Dude, I, I see those videos, and I'm like, they always, you know, they do the trap things a lot, where it's mm -hmm. somebody they'll have like a mask on, wearing like a maid costume or some shit. Yeah. They're like, oh, look at me. And then they, like, pull off a reveal. They're a dude. And I'm like, man, yeah. you'd be a pretty woman. And then just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> you'd be a pretty woman. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I mean, man, facts, some, dudes, some dudes be built fine. <laughs> Fair though, yeah. And then there's me, built neither fine nor good looking. So, <laughs> same. <laughs> At least y'all can grow luscious hair, dude. Can we though? Better than mine. Yes. So. Yes, we can, Jeremy. Brandon and Isaac, because Isaac, you also have some fairly long hair. Why yeah. did y'all start growing your hair out? Lazy. I'm just lazy. So <laughs> mine originally 
was because of the pandemic. And then it got to a point where I was like, eh, I'm just going to grow it out. And then to a point where my girlfriend was like, just keep growing it out. I was like, okay. She likes to pull. That's work for me. Yeah. Brandon <laughs> likes his hair pulled. Oh, yeah. So, like, because. fucking know it. <laughs> every time I go home or I go to my grandparents, literally the first thing they say when I walk through the door Cut your is, hair. yeah, you need a haircut or some shit like yeah. that, right? <laughs> so I, I was kind of like the same as y'all. I stopped cutting my hair when COVID started because we got furloughed. So I was at home. I I didn't have to work. I was getting paid unemployment because we got furloughed. So there's no reason to leave the house. So I just didn't cut my hair. And I was like, you know what? I've had short hair my entire life. Let's see where this goes. So I let it grow out. And then what happened was people started complimenting me on my hair. Not like, you know, just randomly people were like, Hey, your hair is pretty long. I like it. That's nice. You know, like real small compliments, which <laughs> never happened when I had short hair. No one ever mentioned my hair when I had short hair. Oh yeah. Trust me. Nobody's ever like, damn, Nick, you look, your bald head looks fucking nice today. It looks smooth and that shiny. bald head looks fine. <laughs> yeah. uh, let me tell you. Give me a bald head, boy. <laughs> right? But it's like just the fact that it's different from the norm makes people want to comp or like just acknowledge it in any way, right? Shit, not me. Anytime I did something different with my hair, everybody was always like, ew, why'd you do that? I'm like, damn it. <laughs> it's like when I shave, Ouch. people are like, you look weird, bro. Don't shave. Yeah. Yep. It's always like the the huge ego crusher, dude. Whenever you change yeah. something, like and you think it looks dope, and then some the first person who yeah. sees it in public is it's like, "Oh, what up. the fuck!" Dude, You're yeah, like, "That is weird. not the reception I wanted." Damn yeah. it! Yeah. No, and dude, dude, you, like you get the plague and shit. You're just like, "Yeah, what the fuck! I just shaved." You're like, leave me oh, alone, I did. dude. I'm so uh, like conscious of that shit. Like, if somebody Same. changes something. Even if my initial reaction is, that's kind of weird, I'm always, I like stop for a second and go, all right, they probably like it or they wouldn't have done it, so I'm going to not insult them. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, you look like shit. I'm like, hey, man, yeah. you changed your hair. It looks it looks good. You know, good job. Yeah. Proud of you. Like, uh, we had a guy, um, Isaac, we had a guy that worked with us that uh, started painting his nails. Oh, yeah. And honestly, I thought they really worked for him. I thought they looked really good. And so I like saw him and my initial response was, and that's kind of weird, like in my mind, but then I was like, but they look all right. And so I was like, Hey man, I like your nails. They look good. And he's like, thanks. That's real nice yeah. of you. And I was like, fuck yeah, dude, you do you. Whatever place he went to too, though, they used some top grade material. Cause that shit did not come off. Yeah. For well, <laughs> for real, that was part of it. He, he got like high quality. He got like, High quality manicure. Like, he he you know, went and actually just like he did it. Yeah, like he, he went all out. He, he didn't did just it. buy he a two dollar okay. thing of nail paint from nail paint nail polish from yeah. Walmart. <laughs> nail paint. <laughs> nail paint. <laughs> yes, nail paint. <laughs> right. But so then, like, like I started growing my hair out. People complimented me. And I, I realize that it's not necessarily because they think it's good, but because it's different, right? Like, they see the difference, and they go, oh, that's different, but it's all right. You know, whatever. Do you. And I take that as a compliment. And so then I was like, all right, fuck it. I'm going to keep going. <laughs> so, yeah. So here I am, three years in, living life, having a great time. I mean, yeah. you grow way better long hair than I do. My long hair was always like fucking pubes. <laughs> you just gotta commit. Hated. That's the same thing with Isaac. I don't know that you've ever seen me without a beard. Nope. So Brandon, I'm... you have Nick. You actually, also have. Yeah, actually, I have. I have. Cause you didn't always have a beard when you first started at where we worked before. Did I? 
together. Yes, you were big you like a goddamn chud. You need to keep your beard. Yeah, keep the beard. <laughs> See, I like the beard. So that's like the, the thing beard is, hair. it's so weird because everyone like that's not my family. I speak to. They go, yeah. I like the beard, you should keep the beard. And I like the beard because I think it covers up part of my really ugly face. And <laughs> <laughs> But then my sisters, my mom, my dad, they're like, you need to shave. Every time I go home, they're like, you need to shave that off. It looks terrible. And I'm like, no! I That's have so a LIGO and my hair grows in really cool, so I keep it. Yeah. I was saying, I like fucking, my hair grows like shit. I hate it. You just gotta commit. That's the thing is, no, like, I have before, and it, it never gets better. You gotta commit for like uh, years. <laughs> I've had it down go, to shoulder length at one point. Need to okay. get, uh, yeah, and it, no, I did keeps. I did keeps for a bit. Did keeps. Yeah, and it works. Don't get me wrong, but like, just my hair just grows like shit. So yeah, yeah. I just gave up. And I was like, fuck it. I'm just gonna shave my head and start working out. Yep. There you yeah, go. Fair enough, man. See, Nick, I will say, I think you look great with a shaved head. I like the shaved head a, look, A honestly. shaved head fits you. It does. Well, I think, I think I, at least, like, I don't look weird with a shaved head. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You I'm not going to say right I look fucking hot, head. but, I, yeah. I don't have a weird shaped head, so that's that's a big plus. Dude, yeah. Some people yeah. have real weird, like, wavy heads, you know? Like me, I could <laughs> yeah. never fucking shave my head because I have a weird-ass shaped head. Yeah. Hey, maybe better now, dude, now that you've gotten older. Who knows? No. Oh, I'm no, sure my head is still dumb-shaped. I don't remember your shaved head look, though. It's been so long. I think it was elementary, right? Brandy, yeah, shave your head. bro, it's like fourth grade. Yeah, so it's been a while. Jesus. Brandy, shave your head. I want to see it. Uh, hard no. <laughs> he sees his hair is so long now. If he shaved his head, it would... hard fucking no. <laughs> so much time to get that back. Right. <laughs> but also, like, the other part of growing long hair is that since I work, and Brandon, you can probably relate with this, since, yep. uh, and Isaac, because you also do the same shit, since I work in, like, a strenuous, kind of active place, you either need extremely short hair so that it can't get in your face or it needs to be long enough that you can put it in a bun or something. Yeah, Yo, bro, it was hell Not for that awkward good. period. Yeah. If it's yeah. anywhere in between, it's all in your face and it's so annoying. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. you have to commit to one or the other and just letting it grow is the easiest option. I always find it amusing <laughs> when like Someone that has like a strenuous job, like where they move around a lot and they're gonna sweat at some point in the day, they show up with like hair product in their hair, like it's gonna fucking stay. Yeah. But it dude, just looks right. like absolute trash by the end of their shift. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I would, I used to do that a couple times. Like I would put uh, some like stay or leave in conditioner in my hair, kind of like treat it like hair gel. But then I would start sweating and it would just run into my eyes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, that's the worst to me. Whenever the fucking product starts to run into your eyes, oh, fuck. Yeah, it's bad. Thankfully, I have this gargantuan forehead, dude, so it always kept it, you know, it had a long way to go. Same. Before it gets there, it has to travel about five miles. That's why you just wear a hat. And then the hat dude, I used to, it all up I used and to you're good. non-stop wear hats. I wear hats every day. So. Dude, now, Damn. dude, I can just slap some sunscreen onto my head and just go outside, <laughs> and I'm so, it's, like, so cool. Dude, I will, so, like, one thing I've noticed with long hair is that if I lay on my stomach face down in my pillow, and I don't, like, pull my hair off to one side, it just, like, cocoons my head. And it's so then so I just get so hot, like like so hot, because I'm just surrounded by hair, and then from like hair down is blanket, and I'm just dying. I will say, man, not having hair is actually like like as far as the no maintenance aspect of yeah. it, pretty fucking sweet. Honestly, yeah, because I have to like shampoo all this shit. Yeah, dude, I just use body oil. wash all over my entire body. Oh, dude, it's hilarious when I shampoo. Like, I'm like a lion made of bubbles. 
It's fucking hilarious. It's just uh, there's studs everywhere on my on my head like a huge cotton ball. That's fucking funny. Right. Bro, one funny. thing that is super satisfying about um long hair though is whenever you do shampoo it and like get it all kinds of sudsy. I fucking used to love that shit. Damn. Oh yeah. So a big old big old lion's mane of poof. Yeah, yeah it's just, just fucking suds all over the damn place. Right. It's sick. It's so satisfying feeling. It's like a um, what is that? A simper, sensory thing. Yeah. ASMR. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of. Have you ever had a girlfriend run her fingers through your hair? It's like that. Yeah. Bro. Oh, yeah, bro. That's always so bro. nice. Oh, yeah. shit. Or like scratch your back. Ooh, oh yeah. No, no, yeah. When they're running their nails across your back, yes, definitely. Yeah. That's great. Dude, why is it? I start purring like the, like a <laughs> just like uh, fucking just start shivering and shit. Just oh fuck, <laughs> fucking <laughs> legs start twitching. <laughs> my, you know they really start scratching the good spot when my toes curl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Why is it? Uh, there's like a. I guess kind of like a stereotype that guys don't enjoy like physical touch, I guess, Mm -hmm. but not physical touch. I don't know. I feel like there's so many people that are just like, yeah, no, they, they just like being dudes. Dudes don't give a shit, but then every dude is like, man, when they touch me, run your nails through my hair, it's orgasmic. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, dude. I'm, I'm very much so a touchy feely person. I fucking okay. love that shit. Okay, it's like that with my significant other. If I don't, if if I don't know the girl, I kind of don't want them up in my hair. It's, I'm weird like that. Yeah. If I'm if I'm with somebody like in a relationship, she sh- and she's, you know, giving me a massage or something, I'm just like, this is the greatest fucking thing. But it's a little weird to me when it's somebody that I'm not intimate with. Ooh, yeah. see, I don't. It it don't even matter to me. <laughs> I, I could have no idea let, who the fuck you are. Just just touch let me. everybody touch me. Yeah, dude. I'm just like, oh, yeah. Fucking. <laughs> right there. That's the spot. Yeah. That's it. Touch it. Touch <laughs> that <laughs> there. I don't know. Because I. Fingernails, dude. I have a weakness for fingernails. Dude, they just, they, they just hit the right spot. They go just deep enough, you know? That's great. <laughs> Especially when they got like fucking fake nails on. Yeah. Oh. Dude. See, yeah. And I, I, and I on the back with just like the little like just like slightly touching. Yep. Oh, that's it. That's the spot. See, I will agree with you that that feels fantastic, but I also don't like the look of fake nails. I don't either, but dude, they feel so fucking. They do. So, so if they're done right. And they're I just, not I don't like the huge egregiously ones. long. Yeah. 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 Like if they're like normal looking nails, but they're fake, I don't give a shit. But if yeah. they're like stupid long, I'm just like, oh, okay. It's just, you're worthless now. <laughs> <laughs> Your hands are fucking pointless. Like trying to watch people pick up shit. Their long you know, nails. Yeah. Or trying to use a keyboard. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it fucking kills me. I'm like, dude, you got to get rid of those. Right. Like this is greatly impacting your your work it's ethic. Your day to day life ability. It's fine. I'm trying to squeeze this much out of you right now, bitch. So what would you say if I got long nails? Right, you got me some, a manicure. I'd be like, uh, that, that would be a little. Uh, <laughs> it's a that thing. would be one of those. that's like very out of character. Be like, it's oh, a thing yeah. now yeah, for guys to get their nails done, though. I like facts. Like my dad goes and gets manicures with my stepmom. He doesn't get his nails done or anything, but like he gets manicures. Yeah, just gets them like like filed and smoothed. And yeah, and I like sure. apparently it's the like he likes getting his feet done. Like that's his thing now, getting his feet done. Oh, okay, okay. interesting. Oh yeah, dude, my dad, my dad's loving that shit. I, I've been thinking about going and getting like having like a spa day. I think that'd be sick. Yeah. Hmm. See, just, I like, just... go get a massage and fucking get like a oh, facial bro. and shit. I, I fuck. Spa days, I fuck with. Yeah, dude, right? Well, I like a mud bath. Oh, I, yeah. Oh, bro. That's Never even tra- had a mud bath. That's going to be attractive to me because I'm attracted to that already because, you know, 
when a dog rolls around in the mud, how happy they look. <laughs> dude, yeah, I remember playing in the mud I mean? as a kid. Dude. Exactly. Like, so that's what I I'm get to do it as a grown adult. Exactly. <laughs> that's my point. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's just a good time, just in the mud. Yo. And plus, you're just chilling, too. Like, you're doing the adults, like, play in the mud. Yeah. See, I like, mm -hmm. uh, I've been to a couple, like, hot springs. I like that Same, kind of yeah. shit. Dude, I don't like massages. Yeah. For the sole reason of I don't like people touching me. Uh, like, touch I need to be comfortable with, like, extremely comfortable with somebody before they're allowed to touch me. Mm -hmm. Tickle that butthole. Hey, hey. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Buddy. All you guys are at butthole access at the moment, but. Oh, of course. You know, random stranger, <laughs> like, maybe a handshake. Yeah, right. You can touch my pinky, bitch. <laughs> Man, I will, so. Uh, you know, it's very hot here in Texas at the moment. I oh, yeah. sweat a lot, all right? Hey, and bro. I'm, especially recently, we've been pulling a lot of home run wires, which are, you know, 100, 200 foot runs of wire pulling through, you know, 600 degrees of turn. It's very difficult. And since I'm the newest mm -hmm. person, I get put on pull duty, which is the worst. And so I'm just like dripping sweat by the time, you know, I get to lunch. And today, uh, one of the, one of the data guys came up and they're like, Hey, you know, I'm, I'm blah, blah, blah. I don't remember his name. Cause I don't pay attention. I'm blah, blah, blah. I'm blah, 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 blah. <laughs> uh, nice to meet you. And he goes to shake my hand. And so I, you know, instinctively go to shake his, but then I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, man, I'm sweating. I'm gross. <laughs> My hand is gross. It's wet. Like, I am disgusting. I am, I am nasty at the moment. This guy probably fucking hates me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very uncomfortable position to be uh, fat and sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody's trying to, like, touch you. Well, like, uh even like the GC at this job, um, which is general contractor for those who don't know, uh, he came up and like patted me on the back. <laughs> but it was just like a slap. Dude, well, like because I also I wear an undershirt and then my overshirt, but my undershirt is like one of those, uh, like it's like athletic shirts. It's like moisture wicking, right? So it, it gets yeah. it gets drenched but the idea behind it is that if there's a breeze it cools you off a lot faster which it does but it gets yes. very wet and so <laughs> like, like i'm just like drenched and he just like gives me jeremy, a sad little slap <laughs> jeremy's just ultra moist out here i bear i really am man and it makes me uncomfortable so i don't know how other people feel about it i mean I don't know. Anytime, like, I, whenever I was in high school and the bigger guys would be sweaty and I'd, like, you know, make physical contact with them, I knew what I was getting into. Yeah. yeah. I, I totally understand. I'm like, oh, yep, yep. That doesn't surprise me at all that he's sweaty. Because yeah. I was usually just as sweaty because I sweat like a fucking bastard. Dude. Yeah, same. Like, I put, I, I don't know, I sweat more than anybody I know. Well, I love, I love drinking water because I sweat Yo, a lot. Dude. Same. Gotta stay. I gotta hydrate. Hell yeah. Hydrate so you can fucking piss like a racehorse later. Dude, the last <laughs> thing is I still piss like a racehorse, but it still comes out looking like lemonade. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's fun, dude. I do it, it's getting on the apple juice. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, dude, lemonade's actually supposed to be like the healthiest color, right? Because really? if yep. you're if it's clear, apparently you're overhydrated. So yeah. So yeah, you don't want clear pee. Nah, clear pee all the way. I mean, way. I guess it's better. It's better to have clear pee than it is to have fucking coffee colored pee. Let me ask oh, you this, God. Nick: If someone was pissing <laughs> in your face, would you rather it be clear or yellow? Clear for sure. Yeah, well, for sure. Confirm. Nick's like Nick likes clear piss in the face. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so on that note, guys, we're out of time. Uh, Damn. <laughs> way to end it way, end it on, to, on the golden shower joke <laughs> fuck yeah dude. Oh pee in my fucking mouth uh, uh, it's just a regular shower at that point 
<laughs> yeah, it's clear, dude. There's, it's about there's no reason water. to be ashamed of your kinks, all right? We don't kink shame here. We're going to try um, something. Push really hard while I squeeze the soap onto you and go. <laughs> <laughs> all right boys uh does anybody have anything they want to clear up wrap up before we post this to the internet forever uh everybody keep your pee nice and clear because it's better to be overhydrated than dehydrated bro you have to drink like 50 or not 50 but a, like multiple gallons of water within 30 minutes before it will actually start harming you so like the most yeah no you have to drink so much water to anymore. actually cause problems yeah so when in doubt drink water um but with this that, is a public service announcement is psa <laughs> psa from completely, from completely pointless completely podcast pointless <laughs> psa Drink water, you pieces folks. of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you ugly fucks. We can see how dehydrated you are. Leave <sighs> fucking Anyways, uh, everyone, thanks for joining us. Isaac, always appreciate you being here. Enjoy your insight. Always love being here. Thank um, you, I hope everybody has a great week. Better than the last couple, seeing as everyone's had some rough weeks. Past couple weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, and I hope everything goes well for everybody. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.